The Mississippi Department of Child Protection Services says that they should have been involved prior to the immigration raids. Speaking to U.S. Attorney Mike Hurst, Jake Belexa joins us now in the studio with his response to why CPS was not contacted. Jake. U.S. Attorney Mike Hurst says he can't recall any time he's contacted a non-law enforcement agency and given advance notice. U.S. Attorney Mike Hurst and ICE have been criticized after children were separated from their parents. Hurst says he reached out to the Mississippi Department of Child Protection Services after the raid August 7th. That night I got a request from a pastor in Jackson that I knew who had reports that children were separated. And so I reached out to Commissioner Jess Dickinson over Child Protective Services and I got all the information from CPS and I made sure I got it to that pastor that night. The next morning we included all the information that CPS had given us and sent that out in the press release for anyone who had any information that a child was without a parent they had a duty to call CPS so we could reunify them. CPS says Hearst called the commissioner around 1 a.m. August 8th to tell him about the two children and Hearst was then given the hotline number. But they say they weren't included before the raids were immediately afterward. The spokesperson says the conversation between Hearst and the commissioner was brief and a response to the raid involving the children and families wasn't addressed. And if we were to indicate or notify someone who's not in law enforcement, there's potential that evidence of the crime could be destroyed. They could be tipped off. They could hide evidence. Hearst says every child was reunited with a parent within 24 hours of the raids. CPS says the agency went ahead and activated its emergency response plan. No children had to be placed in foster or group homes. In the studio, Jade Belexa, 12 News.